Okay guys, today I wanted to just blaze through kind of a new pattern uh, that I saw that I'm, I'm gonna tie up here. I haven't actually fished this pattern yet, uh, but it was really cool and I just wanted to kind of play around with it. Uh, so I got this pattern from Gareth Wilson over at UK Fly Fisher, and it's really kind of his signature pattern. It's called the Black Mamba, uh, but I'm gonna make a couple of tweaks on it uh, and see how it goes. So the first of all, um, I've got a fulling mill uh, 5085 um, hook in the vise right here. This is a size 10, which is a little bit smaller than Gareth uh, typically uses. The uh, fish on the body of water that I'm going to test this out on tend to be a little bit spooked from bigger streamers, uh, so I'm just going to size it down just a little bit. Next thing you'll notice is that I got a uh, 3.2 millimeter chartreuse bead on the front. Um, Gareth would typically tie this in with either uh, some chartreuse thread wraps to make a head or like a black um, tungsten bead on the front. But I kind of like the chartreuse, so I'm going to test that out. And then uh, you can also see I've got about 20 wraps of 0.02 lead um, wire on the, on the hook here. So I'm just going to start out with some um, UTC 140 in... Um, chartreuse here and I'm just going to tie this in we don't have to worry about tying in um, all the covering all the lead here because um, we're going to cover all that up here in just a minute Make sure everything's secure. Okay. So the next thing we're going to tie in is some chartreuse crystal flash. Uh, and I've got, I don't know, 20, 30 strands here. Uh, we're just going to tie this in on the back end. And this stuff can get a little... Uh, wild on you but you are gonna get it again we're gonna cover all this up so don't worry about that too much let's make sure it's all tied in here okay next thing is I'm gonna use some silver wire this happens to be brassy size silver wire We'll just catch this and tie it down the side here. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually pull this crystal flash over the top just kind of measure it uh, about the front of the eye of the hook and then we'll snip that off should be about the right length okay next thing is we're going to tie in a rabbit zonker strip And the black mamba is really just a black zonker with racing stripes. So one thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the uh, leather here is at least as long as the tail. Uh, maybe a little bit longer for the tie-in just so that I have the opportunity to trim it back if I need to. Uh, but I don't want to make it too short. Something like that. Now we're going to pull this rabbit hair forward and I'll just tie a couple of wraps in here to get it secured. We'll pull that back. Okay. Next thing that goes on here, I'm going to use some UV ice dub and peacock. Uh, it's a really cool color. Uh, this stuff happens to be 
pretty coarse though. So, I mean, you're definitely gonna lose a few fibers along the way. Um, we just need enough on here to kind of make a little bit of a body, cover up your thread and uh, add just a little bit of shape and a little bit of flash. Okay, now what we don't want to do is go too far um, towards the head. We definitely want to leave a gap on the back end to be able to tie the zonker in. So uh, I'm going to add just a touch more here, but we're just about there. Okay, and then we'll pull this down over the front. I like to pull all this hair back and uh, make sure we can get that zonker strip in there. Now, if you pull down too much right here, you're gonna end up with a really big uh, kind of lump that is hard to tie in. So I like to keep this pretty loose so that I can trim it. And then, you know, it will kind of fit in behind that bead just a little bit better. And I'm using the 140D here just so I can add just a little bit more pressure um, on the front of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, again, we're gonna cover this up here in just a second. So as long as we got it tied in, we're good. And then we're gonna start wrapping our wire. So I'll take a couple of wraps around here uh, on the back end first and then we'll just kind of add a few of these kind of up through the fur just to add a little bit of strength obviously the bigger the hook and the longer the body um, the more wraps you're going to make here but I'm just going to do a couple and then we'll pull this around the front so now we can tie in our wire. And make sure that's nice and tight. And then we'll just helicopter this out. And then the last thing we're going to do is uh, add a little bit of chartreuse eye stub to cover up these threads on the front end. So definitely aren't going to need too much. It's probably too much. Pull some of that out. wrap these thread wraps and that'll kind of cover up um, any of that thread and you know if you had just a little bit of a butt end from that fur sticking out okay so we'll tie that in and we'll just whip finish That's about it. We'll just double check our tail here. And actually I'm pretty, pretty happy with that length. So I'm not gonna trim that off at all. I will um, just add a little bit of head cement here. And we'll call that good. So, that's it, and that's the Black Mamba. Uh, pretty excited to test it out, and we'll show you guys how that goes.